Unit 7. Economic Reforms. Part A. Reading. Page 74. One of the most important measures to be taken to promote the development of a country is to constantly carry out economic reforms. Being aware of this, in December 1986, at its sixth national conference, the Vietnamese Communist Party initiated an overall economic reform, commonly known as Doi Moi, renovation. The aim of Doi Moi was to restructure the economy of Vietnam and to raise the living standards of the people. Before Doi Moi, our country experienced a lot of difficulties. The economy was underdeveloped and was dominated by traditional agriculture. The country was poor and people led a poor life. Production was stagnant. There was a shortage of schools and hospitals, and inflation could be seen in every sector of the economy. To solve these problems, our government introduced a number of renovation measures. They eliminated government subsidies. They shifted economic priority from heavy industry to three major economic programs, namely production of food, production of consumer goods, and production of exports. They reduced state intervention in business. They opened trade relations with all countries in the world and encouraged foreign and domestic private investment. The subsequent National Congresses of the Vietnamese Communist Party held in 1991, 1996, and 2001 continued to reaffirm its commitment to Doi Moi and called for more administrative and economic reforms. Under the party's guidelines, the government adopted the Land Law in 1993 and the Enterprises Law in 2000. These have laid legal grounds for dissolving inefficient cooperatives, expanding more opportunities for farmers, and encouraging both domestic and foreign private investment. Since Doi Moi, our country has undergone substantial changes. Productivity and agricultural exports have constantly increased. The farmers have enjoyed land use rights and have had a greater choice on how to use their agricultural land. The workers have worked harder as their time is their money, and the children particularly those from ethnic minorities, have had more opportunities to enjoy education and training. We believe that with the strong commitment of our party and government to Doi Moi, we will gain greater achievements and build a better life for our people. Task 1. Listen to the passage about the inhabitants of Tango Island and decide whether the statements are true or false. The inhabitants of Tango, a small island in the Atlantic Ocean, discovered a plant which contained a powerful drug. They grew the plant all over the island and they took the drug every day. This made it more difficult for them to think rationally. It stopped them worrying about the future and enabled them to forget all their problems. At the same time, it made it much easier for them to relax and enjoy themselves. And because of the drug, the whole population of the island stopped working and spent their time singing and dancing and looking at the sea. Unfortunately, this had very bad effects on the country's economy. The workers and farmers became lazy. The children didn't want to go to school, and the whole population began to run short of food. This, however, didn't discourage the people from taking the drug. The Prime Minister made speeches on TV warning them about the drug, but nobody took any notice, and before long, the economy of the country was in ruins. This forced the government to take measures. They introduced a law to make the drug illegal, but that only made the situation worse. The law couldn't prevent the people from taking the drug, on the contrary, the fact that the drug was illegal encouraged people to take it more. They put drug takers into prison, but this did not have any effect. 
there were not enough prisons for them. Eventually, the government found a solution. They exported the drug to other countries. This saved the islanders from having to work more than one day a week and allowed them to spend the rest of their time sitting in the sun without any care in the world. Task 1 Listen to the passage about the inhabitants of Tango Island and decide whether the statements are true or false. The inhabitants of Tango, a small island in the Atlantic Ocean, discovered a plant which contained a powerful drug. They grew the plant all over the island and they took the drug every day. This made it more difficult for them to think rationally. It stopped them worrying about the future and enabled them to forget all their problems. At the same time, it made it much easier for them to relax and enjoy themselves. And because of the drug, the whole population of the island stopped working and spent their time singing and dancing and looking at the sea. Unfortunately, this had very bad effects on the country's economy. The workers and farmers became lazy. The children didn't want to go to school, and the whole population began to run short of food. This, however, didn't discourage the people from taking the drug. The prime minister made speeches on TV warning them about the drug, but nobody took any notice, and before long, the economy of the country was in ruins. This forced the government to take measures. They introduced a law to make the drug illegal, but that only made the situation worse. The law couldn't prevent the people from taking the drug. On the contrary, the fact that the drug was illegal encouraged people to take it more. They put drug takers into prison, but this did not have any effect. There were not enough prisons for them. Eventually, the government found a solution. They exported the drug to other countries. This saved the islanders from having to work more than one day a week and allowed them to spend the rest of their time sitting in the sun without any care in the world. Part C. Listening. Page 79. Listen and repeat. Tango. Rationally. Unfortunately, discourage, ruin, measures, drug taker, solution, islanders. Part C. Listening. Page 79. Listen and repeat. Tango. Rationally. Unfortunately. Discourage, ruin, measures, drug taker, solution, islanders. Part E. Language Focus. Page 81. Pronunciation. Read the following phrases. Pay attention to how the strong and weak forms of the auxiliaries are pronounced. She can. Can she? They must. Must they? You have. Have you? She has. Has she? I could. Could I? You do. Do you? I am. Am I? He does. Does he? He is. Is he? We shall. Shall we? They will. Will they? It will. Will it? Practice reading the following. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. Must we go now? I think we must. Have you met Quang? Yes, I have. Has she gone? Yes, she has. Shall we go now? 
I think we ought to. Will you come tomorrow? Yes, I will. Do you really have time for it? Yes, I do.